talk about food, non-perishable food, canned food. Dates as such, they have so much nutrition in them that you stock up on water. You can't live without water. And don't keep your water in glass containers. Don't keep your water in plastic containers. Keep your water in containers which are not so perishable. And uh, finally, you have to cook. Allah created human beings to cook. And in Surah to Yasin, He tells us, I gave you the wood of the trees to cook. So you need to be able to cook. There'll be no electricity. Your gas will run out. So how will you cook? Answer, you have to be in a place where wood is available. If you remain in the city, there'll be no food and there won't no water. So there'll be anarchy in the cities and people will kill each other for food and for water. They'll break down your doors because they're dying for food and water. If you choose to remain in the city, don't turn to me and ask me what to do. I have asked you for so long, so many times, make a backup arrangement in the remote countryside because there's safety in the countryside. How do you protect yourself in that world after the Great, great War? Remember what Allah said in Surah al Isra. You remember? When you recite the Quran, Allah will place a covering over you to protect you. So the, prote the one of the major protections in the post-nuclear world is to be reciting the Quran. I recite the whole Quran from cover to cover every lunar month. My students are doing it. The best time to recite the Quran is in the morning. In the Quran al Fatrikana Mashuda. Either before Salatul Fajr or after Salatul Fajr. And if you recite the whole Quran, and you complete the whole Qur'an, the recitation, every month, Allah will protect you. The Qur'an will protect you. And finally, 